Hey! <laughs> well, it's been a while, so why don't we go into this? This is breaking news that someone has ran over a police checkpoint. Now, isn't it fun when they introduce checkpoints with a PSYOP? Okay, it's like, here, let me slap you in the face, and then here, will you turn the other way, and I'm going to slap you in the other face. Okay, first of all, let's wrap our head around the checkpoints and get used to, it shouldn't surprise you, um, you know, uh, metal detectors everywhere, shoes off, uh, anything everything okay until you can't drive six miles from your house unless you've had the vaccine and of course you're gonna have to run out of your house <laughs> and find somewhere else to live because everyone's gonna chase after you and be like you're a killer you didn't get vaccined what you dumb you don't know about herd immunity you you're the killer yeah how dare you and we can laugh about it now. <clears throat> and everyone, uh, just, uh, get ready to, uh, get ready for the Gestapo. <laughs> Too much? All right, well, looks like we're in mourning again. And so the footage I saw, Meg did it already, and they said this guy ran the roadblock. The only problem is the road was like I'm sorry, my heater was on, so I was yelling. It was like an intersection, okay? So, I mean, what did he, it was like Frogger. He went through the intersection, through the gate, and <laughs> ran over. And, of course, our poor, weak police didn't do anything. They were scared of the guy. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. No. Staff to honor the fallen officer. Yeah, and I've spent time on the phone with lawmakers in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. They are unanimous. So they always are they unanimous? They'll say anything to you. Okay, the divide and conquer is already on the table. I'm already feeling ruffled. I can hear it now. Well, who's going to protect us? They ran over a police officer, and you don't care. I didn't say that, okay? The said is they, they're they making this up so they can bring in new laws and they don't even, they don't even try anymore. They just bring it in to let you know, we're doing bro roadblocks now. You don't like it? Too bad. Your, your partner does. <laughs> Sorrow and outrage. Well, it's very, very disturbing. Congressman Buddy Carter is one of the lawmakers from our region repulsed. Okay, there you go. They're repulsed. No, what repulses me is that you're vaccining the whole world and diverting them with bullshit. Okay, now here's your roadblock. The car, let's just take note of the white things, okay? Yeah, I understand. Let's go back for a minute. You see those white things, right? Just take a look at where they are. East Georgia. Like, they where's Waldo? In their sorrow and outrage. Well, it's very, very disturbing. Congressman Buddy Carter is one of the lawmakers. Okay, Buddy. Because Buddy said it, we're all outraged in Georgia. You notice how you have to be in some box? So here's your car, and we're disturbed. Okay. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the guy's still alive region repulsed by the attack at the U.S. Capitol Friday. He says he goes out of his way to meet members of the Capitol Police Force in Washington, now, D.C. I, I'm just saying right here, we have already a different footage. You saw how big those roadblocks were in front of the car. Okay? Their proportions are off. They use blue screens, green screens, CGI, muffle and shuffle it all together and hand it to you. If you don't like it, oh, you must be crazy. You're not, you're not thinking. 
in, in, in with everyone who is at the Capitol. We, we've lost a member of our family. And, and it's, it, it hurts. It hurts tremendously. Florida's two senators reacted with statements. The former governor said, in part, I am heartbroken by the loss of Officer William Billy Evans today. The brave okay. men and women. We're, we're off to tweets. We've seen nothing. You, you are being pushed against a wall where you will trust whatever they say or you are automatically considered a, a total asshole. And that is not the case, people. Twitter, propaganda, just junk. Show us something. Capitol Police have endured a tremendously challenging year. Senator Marco Rubio said, we are all horrified by this tragic and cowardly attack on U.S. Capitol Police officers. We are heartbroken. Mm-hmm. It's not letting. Okay, it took a while to get back to here. The Capitol story is not on trending. It's on the home page, and Lana's here with her big one-eye shell behind her and some books to make her look smart. Laughing up a storm, man. You look really worried, right? They're setting up civil war. They're setting up martial law. They're setting up where it's like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like when it reminds me the closest to what we've experienced would be 9-11 after that happened. You, you know, you wouldn't dare to say something. I wouldn't play certain music, I remember. So, okay, so let's see bullshit, literally. Let's see BS. Let's see if they're going to show us any footage. Thank you so much for joining me. One police officer and a suspect are dead following an attack on the U.S. Capitol. Officer William Evans died after... And that's injury. also, why do they keep calling him a suspect? He runs a gate, pulls out a knife, and he's a suspect, and it could be an accident... And they already have the officer here, they're saying, who's dead. How? How did he die? How would he run that and they wouldn't see him? When's the last time you've seen a cop just be like, oh, you know, what, what, like, it's just, oh, I'm just hanging out at the, the car where, where I stop cars and a car just ran it and he's going to leave himself to get open. No jacket, nothing, right? We're supposed to, I have to literally sit here and tell you how messed up it is. They didn't even show us anything. Was rammed into a police barricade. He was an 18-year veteran of the force. Another officer is receiving hospital treatment for non-life. Okay, training. and then where are they going with this? What kind of freaking people just run barricades? Okay, they have guns they can shoot from a mile away. But they... They think it's necessary to run the barricade. Who would do that? Why would they do that? Oh, of course, it's someone just like who? Like who? Right? Let me guess. Do they have a social media account? Did they talk about it? Uh, a manifesto? Talk. Injuries. Flags at the Capitol and the White House have been lowered to half staff. President Biden says he is heartbroken. The suspect has been identified as 25 year old Noah Green of Indiana. Officials say he was shot and killed after charge. Okay. Noah Green. So the, here he is. Here's our bad guy. Okay. Who they're calling a suspect. Hearts are broken, staffs at half flag, like we're at war, but we're empathizing with the suspect. I mean, do you, do you see what where they're going with this? No. Who? Why would you? Right. Ugh. And then let's see. What are we looking at? Is it a real picture? 
first time I've ever seen hair like that, but what do I know? What? That's all I got. <laughs> They're charging at officers with a knife. The entire Capitol complex was put on lockdown. Streets were blocked off. Okay, lockdown, streets blocked off. It's not like you see anyone anyway, okay? All you see is their cars post up. They put up their yellow tape and they do their PSYOP. What do you see and what can you make out? Um, 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 okay, so the roadblock is the fences, okay? Those big fences. Why aren't they down? Why isn't one of them down? It wasn't the cement blocks he was in front of. Where are the cement blocks? There you are. Okay, you can see them now. They're large in front of it in this footage. So what? In the other one, they must have taken them away. And then how did he get that far? And why is he alive? That's unlikely. Off as police officers, SWAT teams, and the National Guard descended on the crime scene. It's brought back flashbacks for many of the violent insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th. Jeff Begay has the latest on. Yeah, it's really good you mentioned the insurrection at the Capitol, or maybe we would forget about it. Okay, another fake story. They always want to show themselves to be weak when. When you run the whole world, it's a little hard to play weak. White smoke, fireworks. Jesus. The investigation into Friday's incident. Tonight, the latest attack on the Capitol stopped just steps away from the building itself. Is it a coincidence that every time they give you one of these shootings, you all of a sudden see a dozen police officers or military running? We've been seeing this for months, them bringing in the martial law. If you think it's something you've only seen in other countries and it's not going to be on your doorstep and they're not coming for you, you're dumber than a box of rocks. So here we are again, the roadblock that's in front of him, the cement blocks, which were after the roadblock, is gone again. And they're showing you the same picture with the trunk open. Bunch of people standing around for one guy. Four-door sedan ran over two Capitol Police officers before slamming into the deployable barricade. Okay, so that it gets better. So they're telling you one officer's dead and he ran over two. How? Okay, a roadblock where people are waiting in line around the corner. <clears throat> I hope they show that footage again with the intersection. At speeds, change footage again. Activate the airbags. Police say the driver got out with a knife and then attacked officers on the scene, stabbing one in the face. The suspect exited the vehicle with a knife. Now, in reality, if someone tries doing that and stabbing an officer in the face, they're going to get shot in the face before they get out of the car with the gun. They're also not going to be able to run over two officers at the Capitol. We're not talking about in the middle of the woods. Okay. And then they go in with the press conference. They're wearing masks. You don't really think I'm going to listen to what they're saying. Fucking joke. Knife in hand. Our officers then engage that suspect. Uh, he did not respond to verbal commands. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward. Okay. Why in the world? The only reason she would be talking like this is when you're looking for a reason. When they're looking for some type of discretionary reason to see if the person is violent. Someone running a... A checkpoint 
is already more than considered violent. This is ridiculous. They're always making it out like they're they're scared or they're they're unsure. It's not the case. And it's hard to say with all due respect, even though you see have them posted up here, because they're lying to you. They're using some type of fantasy world where they can th imagine their people dead. It's an act. No one cares. No one freaking cares if it's an act anymore. All they care about is saving their own ass. U.S. Capitol Police officers, at, what, at which time uh, U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the... Okay, suspect. so again, they go back to the footage, the same footage, and just like the Truman Show, they're walking to the left, then they walk back to the right. I'm looking forward. I haven't done a COVID video in a long time. <clears throat> it's just like the hospital. There's no one in the freaking beds. There's doctors all around. And they keep moving stuff. <laughs> suspect. That suspect, 25-year-old Noah Green, originally from Indiana, is dead. And so is one of the police officers identified this afternoon as William Evans, an 18-year veteran of the force who was memorialized this afternoon. Now you look at the picture. I'm looking at the back. You know, I'm looking at the seats. It doesn't even look real. <clears throat> He's dead. And so is one of the police officers identified this afternoon as William yeah, just Evans. make yourselves look busy. And, you know, it's not like it used to be. You know, sit here and talk about, look at the, look at this. Here's your officer. This is the best picture they can get of him. Giving us the one eye. Whatever. Ugh. Evans, an 18-year veteran of the force who was memorialized this afternoon by a procession through the streets. Another officer is in stable condition at George Washington University Hospital. Police and National Guard swarm the area after the incident unfolded. Looking okay, there you go. They're swarming the National Guard because of one guy. They've already memorialized this officer on the same day. And now they just, they, it, it, they don't stop. Nothing will stop them. It's like going through, you know, you see them. It's like a tornado. Slow and loud. Looking for other suspects. A park police helicopter was seen landing on Capitol grounds. Green is now believed to be the only attacker. Let's look again. The incident unfolded. Looking for other suspects. A park police helicopter was seen landing on Capitol grounds. <laughs> I'm just saying. You think? Maybe. Doesn't seem really loud. Sorry that, you know, it's, it's without having this downloaded and edited, you can't really do a magnificent job. But does that look good to you? Not real loud. Small, foggy. Green is now believed to be the only attacker. It does not appear to be terrorism uh, related, but obviously uh, we'll continue to investigate. See, and why? 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 So so you're going to run with that because they said that? But this, uh, they have no idea of knowing that. How would they know that? Right? Just like they had no idea this guy was going to do it. Or did they? Now it's the Capitol shooting.
There you go. Here's some CGI. Let's see it. Looting happened on Constitution Avenue, one block from the Capitol. The area had been locked down for most of the last three months following the January 6th assault. The large security... Okay, so they're showing you the roadblock. You saw it. How do you run over two guys and, and kill someone and stab another one? Did you see it? On Constitution Avenue, one block from the Capitol. The area had been locked down for most of the last... And not to mention, why don't they have any footage of it? Here, Who's taking this footage? There's no camera. They can't show us the whole scene where he runs down this thing after he turns right so he can get in there and somehow or another speeds through. They can't show us it knocked down. Why are there two officers standing in the middle of the road? Why, who, who, wh wh why would they be doing that? Look at the fences. It's an open and closed gate. If it was open, a car would be in front. What? Following the January 6th assault, the large security perimeter was scaled back in just the last few weeks. The Capitol Police were highly criticized for their... And you'll notice that if you actually open your mouth, a lot of people will protect this stuff. I mean, that... I don't know. I don't even know if that's true anymore. I don't talk to enough people anymore. I find... I don't, I'm not sure. I really, it's getting tough to tell, you know, how the, how the public is thinking. You know what I'm saying? But they're always, when they do, they, 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 when they do try to protect, they do try to protect them. And you'll notice, you know, why? Why do they keep making excuses for the government? And it's because they're scared. And they're in denial and they can't face reality because if they face reality they'll have to make changes they don't want to make or they have to admit things to themselves that they can't say out loud I think it's like that there lacks preparation and for not heeding intelligence warnings ahead of the January attack one officer died following the assault and one other died by suicide oh okay for the they're now going on to the capital thing and it's funny because they're like well how, oh one block from the capital but somehow or another it managed to they didn't they wouldn't weren't able to see thousands of people storming the capital but now they're prepared of course right with our army Who's out there, such good upstanding guys out there who were supposed to be like, you're amazing. You go out there to protect us and save us because you don't want us to die just so they can bring them right back and spit in their face so they can come here and kill us. Correct? Right? Our, our upstanding citizens are now going to come home to fight and kill us so you can see your heroes in action brainwashed correct it used to be called freedom of speech and now what if you practice your freedom of speech what now we're the new terrorist traitor because we don't want to be biologically chipped get the fuck out of here this is bullshit oh i'm sorry who, who am i even talking to correct I can't put it on YouTube, and then what? I'll put it on bitch shit, and maybe what? Is someone actually listening there? I mean, it's total crap, people. Billions of people are on YouTube a day. The, it, it would be literally, mathematically impossible for me only to get 10, 20 views. Okay? Dipshit YouTube, you, you give your hand up every fucking day. Okay, billions of people on your site. I, I mean, I would have to be, it would literally have to be for me to get 10, 20 views with billions of people on that platform. 
It would have to literally be impossible. Correct? And I'm supposed to what? Give these people on TV the same respect of what? Of who? I wouldn't compare these people. I don't want to ruin this video, but I wouldn't compare these to local officers any day of the week. I, I'm so tired of people comparing real people to people on TV. It's wrong. And no one, I don't know. I'm not sure who's buying it anymore. I don't, I've always given people the benefit of the doubt. And now that they're in the masks, I, I'm pretty sure they're just, they're so scared. I don't understand. It's not that I don't love life as much as you. I do. I think I love it more. You know, I figure I'm going to live my life while I'm alive. I'm not a martyr. But what's the point of being alive if you can't open your mouth and you're going to be tracked inside your own fucking blood? You're going to let them change you from the inside out? What's the point of having money if you're going to be dead in a few years? I mean, what, what are we going for here? Anyway guess it's been a while. I don't think there's much more footage on this uh, Capitol hoax. The acting police chief Yogananda Pittman became emotional when addressing how difficult this year has been. For you hear him? Yogananda Pittman. Okay, so they haven't showed us. You haven't been able to see what I've been talking about, the intersection. But you have a view here of a little bit of what I've been talking about, okay? Because you have your your gate, your checkpoint, which is a very large gate. And you see the cars are parallel to the gate. So how in the hell is someone running something like that? It's a joke. It's a stop sign for. Force. This has been an extremely difficult time for U.S. Capitol Police. So I ask that you keep our U.S. Capitol Police family in your thoughts and prayers. Okay. All of a sudden, it's leave it to beaver, right? All of a sudden, we're freaking snowflakes. They show you porn all day. They give you snuff. They sell you guns. They tell you everyone's a rapist. And what? We can't see the footage. You can't show us anything. Not the car running it. Not him trying to stab the guy. And also you said he took out two driving, right? Cops. Too much for us to see, huh? Violence every day. You want us to literally get off on it. But you can't show us the footage. You tell if it's so painful. You tell me I need to go to bat for it. You tell me I'm supposed to, what? Cry for it? But you won't show me anything assholes. Jeff is right there outside of the Capitol and he joins me now. <sighs> Jeff, what are the next steps? See, when they tell you something like, Jeff's at the Capitol right now. So if I can prove to you Jeff's at, not at the Capitol right now. You still riding with them? Uh-oh, I did it now. You can see the aftermath of the deadly attack just steps from the Capitol, where a suspect rammed that blue car into a barricade. Ooh. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zack. Thank you so much. Hello, Lana. Incident. And then try to see if there was anyone around him, any of his acquaintance who knew that he was up to something that uh, turned, about, turned out to be this attack at the Capitol today. So investigators have a lot of work ahead of them. However, they have acquaintance who knew that he was up to something that uh, might lead to some clues about what motivated this that is okay here we go again there the, it doesn't take much see now all of a sudden now they're sherlock holmes right they know who the person talks to everything about him of course they know everything about him they know when he shits and farts too right but they didn't know a thing about the guy until after he kills three people, really. No.
No. No. And now they get to bring in whatever they want, say whatever they want about him. But then, of course, who's not going to believe it, right? People will believe anything. You go to a damn doctor's office. You take, they get, you give them your fucking blood. They tell you what's wrong with you and you believe them. So, of course, they're going to believe this, even if it is right in their fucking eyes, Mag. Don't, I, I'm sorry. I just, I'm about, you know, he takes the heat and then I go out here and try to hate, take the heat. And, you know, he said this is normal. Two years in, you know, a couple hundred subs, no likes. This is normal, people. You know, I ain't mag. And that's some sh real shit. And so what? So what if the channel blows up? So what? It's, it's, it should have. It's a dumb. It, I'm sure it, there's no way if billions of people, the, people are seeing our stuff, they're not going to tell us. Oh, worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. They're, they're, they're assholes. ...devices trying to figure out if there was a social media footprint there that uh, perhaps might lead to some clues about what motivated this incident. No, no, you already have all that information. Stop acting like you don't. You got us scored on how fucking hot we are, how fucking mean we are, how fucking nice we are, and how much of not a pedophile we are. Correct. And then try to see if there was anyone around him, any of his acquaintance who knew that he was up to something that uh, turned, about, turned out to be this attack at the Capitol today. So investigators have a lot of work ahead of them. However, you know, they, they always make it out like they're fucking retarded. Huh? You, you could still call him a suspect and you still don't know if it was an accident as he's running through the thing. You're lying. Okay, that's not how it works. They're always trying to entrap you to see if you're willing to do dumb things. And it's not, you need to wake your ass up. It's not if you're even going to do it. They want to know if you're even going to talk about it. Okay, it's fucking 2021. I'm sitting in my fucking home. I'm doing a goddamn video. I'm, I'm sure that they still got a problem with that. They still fucking have a problem with that so what oh should i be out at your bar and drinking what what the hell here let, let's listen to this guy at the capitol i'm sure he's there no of course he's there well it just happened accomplish a lot today given that this attack just happened the fact that they know who the suspect uh was that is certainly a big development for them why why would it be a, a huge development that they know who the guy is? What is he in a stolen car? But they don't have facial recognition. They don't have anything. They, how dumb do they need people to be? Uh, uh. All right, let's let's let it play. Well, police and National Guard were quick to respond. How did the January six attack actually change security? I'm sorry, I tried. How are they quick to respond? You lost three people. You, you weren't quick at all. This is retarded. Okay, I'm, uh, even me, I, I think I made, it was uh, like 100, 150 yards. I was able to do a shot on a thing. First time, people, it's not, it doesn't take a genius when you have, this is bullshit, okay? Just, you need to wake up. Just, just wake the fuck up. And tell me you're already fucking awake. Don't tell me you're already fucking awake. It's not true, people. Okay? Waking up is a process. You need to go through it. You cannot say you're into the baller. You can't say you're into aliens and think you're fucking awake. You just can't. You can't say you're into religion and think you're awake. There, there's, there's many things. And frankly, even me, you think I want to be awake? Come on, people.
Well, Lana, it changed everything Lana. on the Hill. It's just uh, three months ago that this Capitol complex was uh, attacked here. This insurrection that led to uh, fatalities, that led to lessons, uh, not only that lawmakers learned, but certainly that the Capitol Police have learned. And so you had uh, what was an increased presence of the National Guard over the last several months. That has been dwindled down quite a bit, but you still see see them around this area as well so they're showing you the same footage and you're okay with that and of course you think this fucking guy's there right heavily armed police and you can probably see that here behind me so security here has changed quite a bit however with those fences down right. and, and before they do before this fucking event happened today they had a lot of this already you know, they already had acted out most of this. They only had to do the ending part. They don't need to wait for the day to film most of it. You can tell. It's a movie. And you know, this is an area that was surrounded by fences for a time there. It certainly looked like a fortress, but those fences are no longer here. And, you know, some are wondering now whether those fences may have prevented this attack. You know, so many people were eager to see that security fencing that was erected after the, the insurrection of the Capitol removed, um, and that just happened, and obviously last week. Uh, couldn't we see more protection again being restored there to the Capitol? Wow, do you hear how they go? It's always about this security issue. They bring us all this danger, and then they tell us we need more security, and how the people, they, they don't even... They don't even try much with the controlled opposition anymore. They just, just, they make it out like everyone's on their side. Are we done here? We haven't even seen shit. Capital given this recent attack? You know, that is a good question. Whether security officials here will decide to... You know, and it's like, people are like, well, you know, they act so nice, you know, and you, how can you say anything bad? Yeah, well, they act so nice, and at the same time, they're going to poison your ass and fucking kill you, and that's okay, too. And these people that are so nice, you're never going to speak to them in public. I worked at one place, and someone from the news channel was there, and they were talking, and their, their like, spouse was part of the place that I worked, like, a uh, member, and you think... They let they no one is allowed to get near them. Ugh. This is so sad, people. Retreat, if you will, change tactics after deciding to take the fences away. Will they bring them back? We'll just have to have to see what the reaction is here now. But clearly, uh, when you have an incident like this, there will be. Let me guess. If the guy was chipped, you would know he was on his way. I guess the phone wasn't enough and your billions of cameras. <coughs> All right, here. Let, oh, they're running. Let's see if we get something. Uh, uh, a look at how security held up to the threat that was here. You know, the, the reality is this capital <coughs> complex is facing more threats than ever before post-January 6th, and many of them are coming from uh, individuals, according to law enforcement. The type Okay, here we go again. It is more dangerous now today than it's ever been, and they have people in lockdown, in jail, in their own homes, fucking suffocating themselves they're about to poison off the fucking people and anyone who doesn't want to get poisoned is going to be fucking enemy number one and it's the most dangerous time in the world for them why because the people may figure out you're lying to them and what what are they going to do then they may actually what try to save themselves Ooh, it's so scary Someone may try not dying, and they may not take the vaccine and be hated by everyone. 
Yeah, it's such a horrible time for them. Someone may go out of their house and smile or talk to someone. Oh, no. All right. I think we're done for now.